Adding color to your lips is the quickest and easiest way to drastically change your look. I'm gonna give you a few tips to really create a perfect lip. I usually start by putting concealer around the lip. This is called a converted lip liner. It's going to make your lips look more plump and more distinct and it's gonna also keep the lipstick and the lip pen inside the shape of your lip. When you're creating a natural, full, and sensual lip, you wanna choose a lip pencil that matches the color of inside your lip. You wanna start in the inner corners of your lip, then go over to the other corner towards the middle of the lower lip. When you come to the lower lip, you can go a little bit outside of the lip's original shape, just to give it a little bit more pout. Then you start with the upper lip, and then again, the other side, a small fine line. If you want to create a more pouty lip, you can either use a lighter lip pencil in the middle of the lip, or you can tap some light concealer on the center part of the lip. This will create an illusion that you have fuller and poutier lips. When I apply the lipstick, I always use a lip brush because then I can be more precise in the shape and I get a more long-lasting and more even result. So I start from the outer corner of the lower lip and work myself towards the middle where I blend the lighter lip pencil or in this case, the concealer together with lipstick. When I'm finished with the lower lip, I start with the upper lip. Same procedure. I start with the inner corners of the upper lip, then I take the other side, the inner corner, and I work the lipstick up. Make sure to blend the lip liner together with the lipstick so it looks natural. And uh, just to give the lips a little bit more of a luscious shine, I'm going to coat the lipstick with an almost uh, clear lip gloss with a little bit of a pink undertone. And when you choose lipsticks at home. Don't be afraid to experiment. You're going to be surprised of how many shades that actually fits you.